Hello friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to create the JBoss Fuse fabric. So let's get started. To create the fabric we need the command fabric colon create and we have to pass some parameters like new user for creating the new user and new user password for the password for that user. And then we have to pass the JuKeeper password. The JuKeeper password is most of the time stored in the current session but it is required to store the sensitive data of fabric registry so make sure you pass this password and this password will be used for all of the nodes which are under fabric and when you join a new container to this to the current fabric means the existing container then you need this fabric jukeeper password then we need a resolver here we are specifying the manual ip so we are specifying resolver as manual ip now we are specifying localhost as the manual IP this specify the loop back loop back address for the fabric for simple test and trials your local host work will work and work as a workaround for this requirement but for production environment you need a uh, you need a static IP so that your distributed ensemble can work so let's get started I'll paste this command new user admin new user password admin jukeeper password at jupass reserver as manual ip and wait for provisioning now this command may may take some time to process be patient maybe like two minutes or three minutes now we can see the last command is successful so the fabric container has been fabric has been created now we will create the new containers to create the child container we will need this command fabric colon container hyphen create child right fabric colon container and when you put a tab option it will give you the suggestions create child now under which you have to create this child so i'll specify the root container as root now you can see this graph at the rate root so this is the root so i'm creating under root and i'll name this container as child one it will give you this output child container successfully created now you can see your container under the container list you can see the container has been created so now we will create a new profile for this container so I show you how to create a profile to create a profile you have to write this command profile hyphen create and the profile name so I will give the name as code hyphen dependencies so that I can add my dependencies now this profile has been created now I'll create one more profile for my deployments so now two of these profiles are created now the further steps we will uh, use the console of this JBoss Fuse web hot IO web console to go go into the further steps now we'll pass the username password which we have created which is admin admin for my case this console is available on 8181 now we can see the child is available here to see the profiles you can which you have created you can see it from here you can search your profile 
this is the profiles which you have created code deployment and code dependencies and you can add your deployments so in this video we have covered how to create fabric how to create a child and how to create the profiles in the next video we will learn how to add the features and how to add the bundles into the code dependency profile and assign this profile to the container see you in the next video